Now, this part of the animal is the telson. And here we can very clearly see the venomous spine, which is connected to this bull, which contains the venom glands. Yeah. Okay? And it, the muscles inside the telson force the venom through the spine into a human being, therefore inoculating the venom. Mm. Now, scorpions have a specific anti-venom specific to each species. Okay, I'm just going to put him there. Let's hope that he'll stay there as well. And he wouldn't the, go to the toad, then. spider will come back. No, hopefully they're going to be well behaved today because the weather is abysmal. <laughs> and, uh, it might make them angsty. <laughs> yes, well, let's, let's hope it's not going to. <laughs> so we are looking at producing this anti-venom which is produced through blood serum of animals such as horses and this is used to treat poisonous spiders and snakes. Okay? <laughs> now. I have visions of that spider sort of like getting hold of a toad. <laughs> We've still not got, got to any of the pictures yet, but also we have a picture somewhere of a black widow and that's what we're going to look at in a minute. I'm just going to put away the toad because we've got far too many beasties out Imagine here. A black widow. And we are going to put away the spider because she is starting to get a bit excited as well. We want it on the screen if, if possible please, thank you. Yes. We will now move on to the pictures and I will explain a little more about the pictures. That's great. Now, here we have the black widow spider. Now the black widow spider is of course one of the most dangerous spiders in the world and many people in both America and Australia are bitten by black widow spiders every year. Now black widow spider is type specific to each species. Latrodectus mactans mm -hmm. is one of the most dangerous species and that's the species that we're looking at on the screen. Here we have Latrodectus tridecima guttatus. Now, this is a dangerous spider. This spider produces a virulent Very quick, isn't venom, it? yes. And again, we have a specific anti venom for this spider. Let's just put her back into there <laughs> so we can have a better look. And uh, the, the, the spider produces a venom called latrotoxin. Mm -hmm. And this produces various effects that can be described as latrodectism, uh -huh. which includes hyperventilation, muscle spasms, stomach cramping, internal bleeding, um, blindness, temporary blindness, um, all sorts of effects that can lead to respiratory arrest, heart attack, um, or shutdown of the immune system. So they can be quite dangerous. Um, usually, a specific anti-venom is administered for latrodectus bites, certainly in Australia and in the United States. However, here in Europe, we have this species, Latrodectus tridesma guttatus, and you'll be comforted to know that there is no anti-venom for this spider. There is none? No, it was too expensive to produce, and right. because it, the bites from the spider were so rare, they decided not to continue producing it. So the usual treatment for this spider, if I was to get bitten by this spider today, would be a high dose, uh, usually 10% solution of calcium gluconate administered intravenously. Right. Okay.